Hello everyone. Today let's learn what is the difference between total surface area, lateral surface area and curved surface areas so that we'll be able to solve questions based on these topics in a much better way. So, let's start. Now we already know what is area. It is nothing but the space occupied by any two-dimensional object. Now for different two-dimensional objects like circle, parallelogram, square, etc., there is only one type of area that we have learned. Now friends, let's come to surface area. Surface area is nothing but the area that is occupied by the surface of any three-dimensional object. So, while area is the term used for two-dimensional objects, surface area is the term that we use for all three-dimensional objects. Now, what's very interesting is that the surface area of three-dimensional objects is divided not just into one or two, but three different types of areas. They are the total surface area, the lateral surface area and the curved surface area. Now, friends, as the name suggests, total surface area includes the area that is covered by each and every surface of the object. Now, lateral means side. So, lateral surface area will include only the areas of the side surfaces of the object. And curved surface area, again as the name suggests, it will include the area that is occupied by the curved surfaces of the object. Now, let's understand these three terms much better using some well-known 3D objects. Now here is a cube which is a 3D object. Its total surface area will be the addition of the areas of each of the six faces of the cube. So if I consider the side of a cube to be S, the area of each face will be S square and that's why its total surface area will be 6S square. On the other hand friends, the lateral surface area will only include the area of the four side faces of the cube like this. So the lateral surface surface area will be 4s square. Now, do we notice any curved surfaces in a cube? No, that's why there is no logic in finding out the curved surface area. Now, for a cuboid, we will use the same logic of a cube except that here you have length, breadth and height friends. So, the total surface area will be modified as 2 times LB plus BH plus HN. And for lateral surface area, again, we will only include the four lateral faces and the formula will be 2 times BH plus HN. Just like a cube, cuboid doesn't have any curved surface area. Now here comes the cylinder. For its total surface area, we need to add the areas of all the surfaces, that is this curved face over here and also the two flat circles. Now friends, the area of this curved face is 2 pi r h and the area of each of the circles is pi r square. And that's how we get the total surface area as 2 pi r times h plus r. Now, because a cylinder is a curved surface, it will surely have a curved surface area. Let's find it out. Now, for that, we only need to consider this curved face, friends. We need to exclude the two flat circles. Now, the area of this curved face is 2 pi r h and that's why the curved surface area is simply 2 pi r h. And friends, did you notice that this curved surface area is the same as the lateral surface area of the cylinder because it's lying on the side and that's why the lateral surface area of a cylinder is the same as its curved surface area. So the cone will be very similar to a cylinder friends. So its total surface area will be the addition of the areas of all the surfaces that is this curved surface over here and one flat circle. Now the area of this curved face is pi r l, the area of the circle is pi r square and that's why its total surface area is pi r times l plus r. Now, since it's a curved figure, cone will surely have a curved surface area, which will include the area of only this curved face, friends. The flat circle is excluded. Now, because the area of this curved face is pi r l, the curved surface area will be simply pi r l. And just like a cylinder, this curved face is also the lateral face of the cone. And that's why the lateral surface area of a cone is same as the curved surface area. And now let's find the total surface area of the sphere, friends. Now this will be the addition of the four circles created in each of the four directions. Now the area of each circle is pi r square and that's how we get the total surface area to be 4 pi r square. 
also need to notice that there is no flat surface in a sphere. That's why the total surface area, lateral surface area and curved surface area will all be one and the same for a sphere. Now let's conclude with the hemisphere. Now it is nothing but half of the sphere so its total surface area will be the addition of the areas of this curved face and the flat circle. Now the area of this curved face will be half of the area of the sphere friends that is it will be 2 pi r square. The area of the circle is pi r square and that's why the total surface area of the hemisphere is 3 pi r square. Now for the curved surface area of a hemisphere, we will only include the area of this curved face friends. The flat circle is excluded and that's why the curved surface area is 2 pi r square. Here also the curved face is the same as the lateral face and that's why the lateral surface area and the curved surface area of a hemisphere are one and the same. So friends, I hope that this video will help you differentiate between total surface area, lateral surface area and curved surface area. If you found this video useful, do like and share the video. Consider subscribing to Enjoy Math and please do leave your comments in the comment section below. So till we meet again, take care.